Hi, it's Raven from Wicked Little Out for Dolls. And check out my really foul rain hair. It's raining again here. Again, it's not like we haven't already had enough rain. And just check out my terrible rain hair. <laughs> so it's all fuzzy. I got that typical Irish hair, so it just goes fuzzy in the rain. This was straightened this morning, this fringe, and it's just... Anyway, today we have some exciting things to show you today. So I have a new baby, the new baby that I've just finished making, and she is available to adopt. Oh, my hair, man. <laughs> so, yeah, she is available to adopt, and um, she does come with some accessories that I haven't quite finished yet. And um, yeah, but she she's actually is actually I've actually got a doll that's you guys can actually buy. Wow, that's amazing because usually most of my dolls are sold before they're finished make, being made. But yeah, I changed a few things just so you know when I show something, if you see it and you like it, you can buy it, which I really like. Also, Nana, I've got a new Nana to open. Um, I'm going to show you one of my other existing nanas that you haven't seen yet. And also, today is my 17th wedding anniversary and I got a present. So you guys will love this guy. So, some of you might be aware of Walt Disney's Fantasia film, the animated film. It's got the dancing broomsticks and it's got Mickey casting spells and acting like a magician. One of my all-time favourite films when I was a little girl and the music, the, the actual music that goes with it is just timeless. It's amazing. So we got this guy today. He's from Target and he's a Disney Fantasia Mickey Mouse. And just he's lovely he's got his little velvet coat on and he's got his little pants his mickey mouse pants and his iconic little mickey shoes and the hat so we've got the disney tag which i won't be keep taking off i'll leave this attached to him because he's he's quite collectible so he's going to go with my other mickey mouses but isn't he cool so guys, if you love Mickey Mouse and you love the film Fantasia, go grab yourself one of these guys. Okay, now I know you're busting to see the new baby and if you've been on my pages, on my Instagram or on my Facebook, you will have already seen her. Her name's Pandora and I'm still in the process of making her outfit. I'm actually hand dyeing an antique. Um christening gown for her but her name's Pandora and she's in a in a lovely christening gown at the moment but there is another one coming that I'm going to goth up a little bit and make it look really cool so she's a little bit creepy she's probably the last of my creepy kids for a little while but she's nice and floppy because I know you guys like your newborns nice and floppy so you've got to support their little head but here she is. So she's a black-eyed child baby. Give you a close-up look at her. She does live on a diet of blood. I've actually made, because I, I actually make my own eyes now. So the eyes that she has have been made by me and they're resin eyes. And she's got little black fingernails. So I do love that she's a little bit Luciferian. So those of you that know Baphomet at all will recognize this pose. So she does the as above, so below symbol with her hands, which I absolutely love about her, which is why I had to make her a little bit creepy. Now this is the Tiger Lily kit. And I'll show you her legs. She's full limbed. So there's her little legs as well. So she is available. This little girl is available for sale. Look at those little legs. I 
and she is coming with her antique christening gown. I'll show you her head in a minute. I know you're fasting to see the artwork on her head, but you can wait for a second. Um, and she's also going to come with her own little um, Ouija board and um, a couple of other creepy little accessories as well. And they're all things that I've made myself. So all my dolls from now on will actually be coming with handmade stuff. I'm not buying things from the store anymore to send out with my dolls. They're going to be coming off with one-off art pieces that are actually made especially for them. And for Miss Pandora, she'll be going home with a little Ouija board. Now, what's so special about her? It's the amazing artwork that I've done on her head. Check it out. I've done a gothic mandala on her scalp. So I was just going to leave her... She was always going to be a bald baby because the person that sculpted this doll did some amazing crown work here. So you can probably see a little bit of that there. You can see she's got the frontal lobe there. Um, and I, I've always, like, I love to keep dolls with nice shaped heads and nicely sculpted heads bald because I think it's great to showcase the sculptor's artwork. Um, but I didn't want to just leave it completely bald and I was going to tattoo it and I thought mm, I couldn't really settle on anything and then I found some really wonderful gothic designs for mandalas and I created one for myself to put on her head. So this has all been freehand. I only ever paint freehand. There's no stencils involved in that so, um, when I do do my artworks, it is proper artwork. It is artwork where I've gone ahead and usually free-handed um, something amazing. So that's what makes this little girl so special. And she will be available for sale. Um, she is going to be probably around about the $400 mark Australian. And that's postage in Australia is free. But overseas, if you're an overseas person, it'll be an extra $80 on top of that Australian. So, yes, I've actually got a baby for sale. So I will um, show you her proper outfit and all her accessories when I actually properly list her for sale. But I just thought I'd introduce her today say hello now she will be the last creepy kid i do for a while because i do want to do um i do have a monkey i want to do i want to do my house elves i've got a couple of fairies i want to do so this is the last creepy kid i do um so that i can do some i can go down into the fairy kingdom and and do some fairy dolls so i'm just going to put her back down into her bed aren't you so cute aren't you such a cute little girl Mwah. And she is, I, I actually properly weigh my babies too. So she's actually four pounds. So she's weighted like a reborn, like a proper um, newborn baby. And when I actually weight my dolls, I've actually got a pair of vintage baby scales um, from the 1950s. And that's what I weigh them on. So that's, that's Miss Pandora. Now, what we're now going to have a look at is so i'm a little bit crazy on nana dolls i absolutely love them so um i think we're up to wave five now and i've kind of fallen behind in collecting the little ones in the little packets um, because it does get very expensive and there's a lot of them in the series so it can get um pretty expensive and i've already got um three or four sets of them already so I've started collecting um, the more special nanas as well. So um, this is one that I got a little while ago. And she's really, really cool. Let's take out. So mostly, usually the nanas come in about that size. But this one is a bigger one. She's more a teen doll size. 
and I love these dolls because I do enjoy playing with um, fabric dolls, cloth dolls, and I enjoy making those dolls as well. So I really like how these dolls are fabric, but they're kind of like a hard fabric. So they've been really stuffed really well, kind of like those wall doll dolls, I guess, a little bit like those. And they're a little bit sexy. So they're, I, I, I don't know that these dolls are really for kids because they're very sexy. They come very sexy with little, little, I'll show you, little sexy outfits on. So we'll just take her dress off for a minute. Ah. We might put her in another outfit, actually. Let's dress my Nana. We might take her shoes off as well. I'll show you what the underwear looks like. So she's a little bit Playboy Bunny with her <laughs> underwear. <laughs> So they are very kind of and more like, I think they're more geared to more the older um, teenage collector maybe or an adult collector. Um, I just love their big eyes. I love their cloth bodies. They've got five points of articulation. So they've got the legs and the arms and the little head. Always got this amazing long hair and it's really, really good quality hair this. Like it's just plush as. And her hair is all different colours of pinks and purples. So let's let's put some clothes on her now because she's being a bit of a Rudy Rudy. So it's Easter, so we might put her bunny outfit on. Oh, that's a bit sexy. Let's put that on. Oh no, I want to put I want to make her look a bit more edgy. So she comes with this, she came with this big box, um, which I love because what have I done? Um, because I can keep all her accessories in there. And I love that these dolls are open to, um, if you're quite creative, you can also, they're, they're a good size to sew them new clothing. Um, and they're also really good for making, you know, accessories for them and stuff like that. If you're if you're if you're a bit of a creative person, so I've put her little pink skirt on. We're gonna put this top on her now because it's Easter and we're gonna be bunny themed. Bunny themed. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Sexy bunny. The only thing I don't like with these dolls is the, it's just like, it's just Velcro to attach their clothing. I much prefer when the clothing is a little bit more um, quality and it has the proper fasteners and, and buttons and things like that. But, you know, you can't have everything. So there's her little t-shirt on. And she's got this really cool jacket, this like Elvis jacket. So we'll put that on her. It's a bit chilly here today, so she can wear her jacket. So I did see another Nana set in the shops today that, um, I really really liked but I already had the two dolls in the set um, but you can actually get a little bedroom set for these guys as well and a car now they have their own car um, but I already had the two dolls in the bedroom set so it was like yeah oh can't dress myself and I can't dress a doll <laughs> there we are in a little jacket we'll put her shoes on so we might put these oh I forgot about those shoes she's got these really cool bunny slippers so let's put those on her they're cool slipper weather let's 
We'll put her big bunny glasses on. And her bunny hat. I'm a little bit challenged when I'm dressing dolls. Oh my god. They they are easy. They are easy to dress, I promise you. I'm just a bit unco. <laughs> glasses on put the glasses on put the glasses on okay here we go there she is all ready to watch movies at home on the couch looking fabulous with her bunny slippers on so they are really cool put your glasses on straight love there you go you gotta have some responsibility for your own dressing but there she is isn't she gorgeous so they're great dolls really really great dolls just put the glasses in there so they don't get broken all right so i'll put this put her away so her name is they have a little tag attached to their hats alex hart so her name's alex So the little mini ones, they do come with their own animal purse, zip up animal purse as well. And this is just a bigger variety. So the purses on the smaller ones are just like this. But um, yeah, so this is just a bigger version of that. Put that there. So now, oh my God, things are falling apart in here. So this is what I bought today. So I, I don't know what this one's going to look like. I'm, I don't have any experience with this one. got a feeling she might be the same size as this one in here. But I'm not quite sure. But I got Rebel Dare because, you know, that's kind of a bit me. And it's Nana Surprise Teens. 11 inch or 28 centimetres fashion doll. So... Let's open her up now. There is a way to open these guys up. I love the packaging on this. Oh, cool. Usually you just pull it apart here. Here we go. So I will probably use that as a, that's got some really interesting shapes in it. So I'm, I'll probably do something artist wise with that. Oh my gosh, she's super cute. Look at that. So this is what she looks like inside. She's got dogs on her socks. Or is that Batman? Oh no, dogs. Little Dobermans. Look at her face, she's got a slightly different face. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors. Oh, oh. 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 oh hi Lyra, come on. <laughs> Every video one of my animals has to be in it. 
This is Lyra. Come on, Lyra. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> so those of you in other parts of the world, here's a little bit of, oh, poo, Lyra, you started. Here's a little bit of Aussie, true blue Aussie for you. This is an Australian blue cattle dog. So some of you who may even be some of my younger viewers, maybe stay here for a minute, baby. Maybe um, used to seeing the, the show of the two cattle dogs, Bluey. That's what she is. She's a blue cattle, he blue healer, um, which is an Australian cattle dog as she farted. <laughs> oh, poor. Can't beat animals and videos. Oh my god. What were we doing? So I, I do have a red cattle dog too, but I'm not bringing her up here. She farts too. Anyway. So let's open up our dolly. Carefully unsnip all of that. Without chopping her hair. Breathe in. And pull her out. The hair stuck to. Oh, there's another one. Sometimes I think there's a little bit overboardness in packaging. So she's got amazing hair. Look at her lovely curls. I wish my hair was like that. Isn't she pretty? She doesn't have rain hair. Doesn't have rainy day hair at all. But yeah, she's a really cutie. She's real cute. And they come with like their little bracelets. There's little bracelets on her arms and little necklaces. Very cute doll. So she is the same size. Yeah, so they could be friends. These guys can play together. I'll probably store them together then. Let's see what thing she's got in here. So we'll have a look at this. These are always interesting. I like these. These show what the other dolls look like in the series. So you've obviously, you've got a little boy. Yeah, she's cute. I'm... I think I'd like her as well. And then there's these guys, and that's the one I've got today. All right, let's see what's in her special packets. So what I might do is I might actually open this up so I don't lose anything, because I might store them together. Oh, we've got packets up. Here you go. Oh, a little brush. That's good, cool. Our second packet. So we get six packets of surprises. I love how they make these shoes. Like the shoes are so cool. Look at those hardcore shoes. I'd wear them. Very cute shoes. Let's see what outfit she gets. That's her little skirt. I've got a skirt like that. That's what I love about these punky, gothy ones. They're a little bit like me. it inside out <laughs> there we go that's a bit better so there's all the details on that skirt very cute little skirt you don't get confetti in this one in the little ones you get confetti and it goes everywhere Here's her little top. Na na na. World tour, it says. 
So it's purple. Cute little top. Same colour as my nails, really. This looks like a jacket. Tartan jacket. Look at that. That's very cool. Let's make sure it's... So there we are, a little tartan jacket. And last package. It's a little hat. Oh, it's a little Doberman dog hat. <laughs> That's really cute. Let's read what her story is. Rebel Dare. Her birthday is February 13th. Don't mess me, I control. Don't mess with me, I control the guest list. She's a bit badass. Yeah. I always check these in case they're things that I can possibly use for my casting or my um, anything to do with my artworks. I don't think I can use that one. That's all right. All right. Let's dress her. Oh. Let's dress her. So she's only got one outfit, but that's okay because she can share her friend's outfit. So we'll put her skirt on. Am I doing this right? Hang on a minute. This is a bit growing up, complicated. Oh, they must be a little un... Oh, okay. Oh. I'll just put them on. I don't really know what I'm doing. But isn't that upside down? Anyway, let's just put them on. I don't know. It's a bit complicated. I don't know why that's there. It's got a little thing in the middle of it that I'm just like, a little bit of material and I'm like, I don't know what that's for. Okay. Put your skirt up, love. You're being a tart. There we go. There we go. That's her little skirt on. We'll put her jacket on. Put your little paws in your shirt. She's showing a little bit of midriff there. <laughs> Ooh. Put her jacket on. I do like tartan myself. I like to wear tartan. Shove your arm in there. go there's her jacket on and we'll put her shoes on as well just make sure I'm putting them on the right way shoes are super easy to put on you just slip them on and then they fit and they go on and they don't fall off you know how sometimes with barbies and things like that the shoes fall off all the time it's very frustrating 
these guys, their shoes never fall off. I'm just going to put her hair out the way for a sec. Hopefully we'll have a bit more luck putting on her beanie. And there she is. Isn't she cool? So that's why I'm obsessed with Nana dolls. Because they're cool. Where's my other one? So they need to they need to meet now. See if they're the right same size. Oh, here they are. How cool. Here we are. Are you gonna be my friend? Yes, I'll be your friend. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll talk to you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe and love you. Bye.